welcome to your July 1st through the 15th tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings uh, every 1st and 15th of the month. Um, so if you haven't already, and I also I'm doing meditation videos and narcissistic awareness videos. Um, and as soon as I, as soon as I can get those out, I will. Um, but let's get started. So what's the central theme for Scorpio's reading today? What is the central theme for Scorpio's reading today? Okay, so we have the Angel of Love. Isn't that beautiful? It could be a child. Uh, it could be somebody who's pregnant, um, expecting a baby, or going to adopt a baby. Or it could be um, st a, just a new love starting. It, anything about love, self-love. This can be self-love as well. Learning how to love yourself. The angel of love just brings love wherever she goes. So the whole theme of the reading today is going to be about love. So that's beautiful. That's the highest vibration you can be on is love. Love and then gratitude. So you should always start your day off with gratitude. What is on Scorpio's mind? I need three cards for what Scorpio. Okay. Cele the three of cups. So we have celebration. Page of Cups is all about emotions here. Uh, new beginnings of, in emotions, new emotional beginnings. Okay. Where in your element, the water element, one more card for what's on Scorpio's mind. Okay, the King of Pentacles reversed. So this is someone who's very like lazy. Um, Let's get into all of these cards. So on your mind, first we have the Three of Cups. So this is friendship, celebration, happiness, party time. Uh, could be, you know, it's summertime. In uh, America we have a holiday, so you could be like going to a family reunion here. And then we have the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is good news altogether. Um, he's an invitation to a party. He's developing a sixth, sixth sense. He's a peacemaker. He's a people pleaser. Um, he's the early stages of love. He's developing a sense of self. He's this beginning of intimacy. He's shyness. He's um, puppy love. He's highly sensitive, he's soft, gentle, angelic, he's quiet, he can play happily on his own for hours, he constantly asks you if you're okay and if everything is going to be okay, he's any water energy, he's Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, and he's looking towards the future, he's looking at the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So the King of Pentacles, when he reverses, um, you might have financial loss on your mind, insecurity, uh, maybe being unemployed, a collapse of a business or a job. It, you could be thinking about debt, being broke, um, overspending, um, being stubborn. You could be thinking about your weight with this card, um, abuse get rich quick schemes it was going on in, in uh, scorpio's family and home life three cards for scorpio's okay. the, that was the ace of wands in the reverse okay. page of swords in the reverse and then justice Okay, so in your mind, we have all this water and earth energy. So there's stability here, emotions, 
going with the flow. Um, it's very harmonious, like there's not a lot of conflict within your mind. You're just kind of thinking about normal things. In your home life, there's not a lot of conflict either. Everything's harmonious. But there is conflict with your home life and your mind. Because in your mind, everything's stable, steady, steadfast, emotional. But in your home, everything's ambitious. Everything's aggressive. Everything's changing. It's the winds of change. So the first we have the Ace of Wands, and it's in the reverse. So there's no new beginnings here with the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Um, there's a delay. There's lack of motivation here. There isn't any new growth within your family and home life. Your hands are there and it's just everything's falling out. It's the thumbs down card. And then we have the Page of Swords, but he's in the reverse. So when the Page of Swords reverses, this is malicious gossip, blaming people, um, being spiteful, vindictive, rude. This is the spy card, so someone could be spying on you. It's cold arguments, it's slander, it's being paranoid. This is uh, mental, psychological abuse. It could be any air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It, it's not specifically tied to one. And the Ace of Wands is also uh, Gemini, or Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So we have Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini, Libra. We just have this fire and air energy that are mixing. And then we have Libra here. We have justice, it's a major arcana card, major life event. Um, so if you're going to court, this is a good card to get. It's, you're exactly where you deserve to be. It's the laws of karma. It's balance, it's legal matters, it's home establishment. It's hard work paying off. So the pages and the aces are all about new beginnings but they're both in the reverse. So I don't see any new beginnings here. I see change. I see growth. There's change and growth. Everything's balanced. There's a balance here. Libra's all about balance. It's number 11, one, one, 11. blind justice. She's blindfolded. Alright, so what is going on in Cancer's romantic and social life? Three cards, I'm sorry, Scorpio. <laughs> What's going on in Scorpio's romantic and social life? Three cards for Scorpio's romantic and social life. Please. Okay. I have the King of Pentacles reversed, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Chariot. So the King of Pentacles, we've got him twice. So we could be talking about a Virgo or a Capricorn or a Taurus. Um, Virgo energy is highest, Capricorn energy, and then Taurus. Yeah, because I'm using two different decks and it came out twice. So the King of Pentacles in the reverse and it's, it's the reversed aspects of Earth. So this is someone who's very stubborn, very bullheaded, um, very materialistic, only worried about money, finances. Someone who isn't good with money, a spendthrift.
right, and then we have the Eight of Pentacles in the upright. So the Eight of Pentacles in the upright is a strong, solid commitment. So I do see commitment here, but with the person, it's just that person's not the best person in the reverse. It's the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So there is a strong, solid commitment here. There's dedication, ongoing hard work on top of your game. Exact. Again, we're getting exactly where you need to be. So on your life journey, on your life purpose, you're exactly where you need to be right now. And then we have the chariot, and the chariot is the card of cancer. Uh, so it could just be talking about the time of cancer or cancer person. Um, so this is gaining control of opposing forces, a journey, control over your emotions. Appearances can be deceiving with this card. Um, a powerful, successful man. Someone's hiding behind a mask, co-creating destiny or a powerful, successful woman, someone who's powerful and successful. So there's not a lot of conflict here. Um, there's earth and there's water, just like what's on your mind. The only conflict I see is with your family and home life. But overall, there's love here. There's definitely love, but the person is just not good with money. Okay, uh, three cards to help Scorpio. Three cards to help Scorpio, please. Three cards. Three advice cards, please. Three advice cards. Okay, Will of Fortune reversed. Two more advice cards, please. more advice cards, please. Three of Wands, Upright, and Judgment, Upright. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, and it's in reverse. I always see this as Sagittarius, because it's ruled by Jupiter, and it's a fire card. Um, there's karma, bad luck, challenges, delays. This isn't a time to start new things. The past is haunting you. I have the three of wands in the upright. So this is turning your back on the past, looking towards the future. So the past is haunting you, but you, what you need to do is turn your back on the past. Look towards the future. Your efforts are paying off, so you need to leave the past behind. And then there's judgment. It's almost a completion. Uh, this is, again is another card talking about karma. Let karma do its thing. Don't take matters into its own hand, into your own hand. It's the final outcome. Everything is going to be just and fair. Let karma. You know, I have a really good story about karma. So I had a relationship with a narcissist, and he was actually murdered. Um, by the person that he replaced me with. So, yeah. Yeah, karma will always do its, do its work. You don't have to do anything. Quit trying to control everything. Let the universe do its thing. Okay, uh, I need three cards for what's going on with Scorpio's money. Three cards for what's going on with Scorpio's money, please. Right, so I have the sun. Ooh, that's good. Uh, the page of wands reversed. And the, ooh, the ten of cups, but it's in the reverse. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so when the sun comes up, the sun's risen. This is Leo. This is being, this is very uh, like a theatrical energy. The sun is risen. It's a new day. It sheds light. It's happiness, success, achievements, celebrations. Um, anything is possible when the sun comes out. 
It's a page of wands in the reverse. This could be talking about a person or just a, an idea. In career, it's beginning an entrepreneurship. But in the reverse, it's making excuses, never being ready for anything. Um, someone who fears change, fearful of travel, lacks ambition. It, this could be bad news. Um, the grass is always greener on the other side. Envy, jealousy. Again, the page of wands, it can be any fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We have Leo here. So it, there could be like a Leo energy involved. And then we have water. So there's conflict within your finances, between your emotions and your ambition. Um, so you, there's ambition here, but then there's emotions. There's feeling bad. You have the aggression, the ambition, but then there's emotion. We have the Ten of Cups, and it's in the reverse. So there could be a broken home or marriage. There's a misalignment of values here. Okay, so in terms of in, in, terms, <laughs> in terms of Scorpio's career, can I have three cards for Scorpio's career? Okay, so I have the lovers. Ooh. All right. Could be an office romance. The Empress reversed and the Two of Swords reversed. So we have Gemini, Virgo, and Libra. So we have air and earth energy. There's a lot of conflict here. There's change and there's, there's a lack of stability because the Empress is in reverse. So there's a lot of change and there's a lack of stability in terms of your career and finances. Um, the lovers is uh, it could be an office place romance or you're just in love with your job. It's any type of relationship and a career is a relationship. A job is a relationship. This is the card of Gemini. It's all about communication. So your job may have something to do with communication. Then we have the Empress Reverse and this is Virgo. This is very critical energy. Uh, there's a lack of growth here, uh, being unproductive at work. There's a lack of job stability. There's a lack of development. It's just not the right place. There's a lot of manipulation here. A lot of laziness, a lot of overeating, overindulgence. And then we have the two of swords in the reverse. So there's confusion, there's information overload, there's indecision, and things aren't fair, things aren't balanced, things aren't just. It turns justice upside down. So your career isn't going where it needs to be going. Travel. Looking. Looking what else is out there. Whatever you do, do it with love. Alright Scorpio, thank you so much for joining me today. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do offer bi-monthly zodiac tarot readings. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day.